Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rakhi Cha. So today we are going to do um, a pour on a table. And this table you see right here is all prepped. By prepped, I mean I have uh, put a layer of gesso and I've taped the um, edges so that uh, the paint doesn't splash um, around it because I'm not exactly sure if I want to leave the uh, wood finish showing around or whether I'd paint it later on. Uh, so um, this table actually is solid wood and um, I found this tray and I got it converted uh, into a table and got someone to put some legs into it. Um, so now I have pre-mixed my colors over here. Um, this is um, the Liquitex colors mostly. So I have the white. Then um, mostly I'm thinking of doing blues and uh, greens and yellow in this. But I also wanted to give a little bit of a tint of, you know, um, uh, a magenta or a deep uh, sort of uh, in the red family um, so that, you know, there's a little bit of variation. So what I have here is... Um, a magenta from Liquitex. Uh, it's sort of a medium magenta, not too dark and not too light. Um, then I have uh, Thalo Green. I have uh, Thalo Blue. I have, um, this is a Cerulean Blue. Yeah, so it's sort of a medium, uh, sort of a look of a blue, uh, more like the ocean colors, which I kind of like. And then this is um, cadmium, uh, cadmium yellow. So I'm thinking the yellow and the blues and the greens uh, mixed together will, I think, make some interesting colors. Then I am going to give it a little touch of gold as well. Um, and instead of using a Liquitex gold, I thought that maybe I could try this because I just got this. A System 3 original uh, rich gold uh, by uh, De La Rooney. So let's see how that works out. I'm going to do a puddle pour and then use the hair dryer over there to blow out the design. And um, usually what I do is I, I pour the acrylic, then I wait for it to dry, and then I resin um, the top of the table. And then I do whatever I need to do with the legs and the trim around. Uh, maybe I sometimes paint it or I leave it, depending on how the tabletop colors come out. All right, so let's get started. I'm just going to blow the white um, over the colors and then let that interact and then blow it out. All right, let's go. Let's torch this. Oh, tiny, tiny cells. 
the table down uh, on the floor uh, so that I could see better where I'm blowing this out. Um, all right, so here we go. and see if I can uh, tweak the composition a little bit. Okay guys, I think I'm done. Just with the blow dryer, I think I was able to make a design, a little bit of blowing here and there. And let's take you in for a close up and let's see how this turned out. So that yellow didn't overpower it. It did make these bright greens, which looks lovely, I must say, with the blue. And that gold in the middle, I love it. And the edges have some white, um, even though I intended for the design to sort of spread out evenly, sort of centrally. A little bit of cells, not much. This was all with Liquitex pouring medium, one is to one ratio with the paint and thinned down with some water. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. I think with a uh, coat of resin, which will make the colors pop even more. And then I'll, I have some time to think about how I'm going to um, paint the legs and the, um, the frame of this, uh, which color will match these. Uh, maybe that cobalt blue, I don't know, maybe white. Um, well, we can decide that later. So thank you guys. I'm going to show you how this dries and make it part of this video itself. And hope you've enjoyed today. Do subscribe, do like it if you did and uh, see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Happy painting.